whilst I was at the Sydney Everything Electric Expo, I came across a company, Coba Insurance, and I had a quick chat to the fellow Andrew. Here's our talk. Okay, so I'm here with Andrew from Coba Insurance. Uh, they're fairly new, you're just about to go live? Yep, a couple of months, a couple of weeks rather. A couple of weeks time. So tell me about the product. Uh, so Coba Insurance is Australia's first dedicated uh, EV insurance product. Uh, what it is, is on an in insurance level, just like everyone else, full comprehensive insurance, right? So we have two small things that are different. Uh, one, we guarantee uh, EV when you hire the car. If you get in the smash, you get an EV back. And we also allow you to choose your repair so you can take it down to the local Tesla dealer. Right, right. okay. Um, and it was something about pay per kilometer as well. Yeah. So the big, the big difference with our product than, than the traditional ones is that we leverage the data set that comes from the car. And using that data set, we're able to offer a proactive monitoring service around battery health or general health checks of the car. We produce a monthly usage report. And then from there, we actually then have the, a different payment model, which is on a paper kilometer. So if you're doing under 15 to 17,000 Ks, what it allows you to do is get some savings for if you don't drive a lot. But it also does is gives you a truer representation of paying for your premium for how you're actually using it. Right. right. So yeah. if you go on holiday or you know go away for a month or something like that, and you don't use the car, you don't get any payment for the month. You get a zero bill. I like zero bills. Uh, <laughs> so um, you say you want access to the car's API through the Tesla yep. app, yep. Um, all the other EVs yep. that have got an app. You'll access that, and you'll. Do reports on battery yep. health and yep. oh, so that's it's an added bonus, really, yeah, isn't it? A, a good example is the battery degradation, right? Yeah. Everyone worries about how the battery is kind of degrading over time. So within our report, what you're actually looking at is things like our total fleet, the manufacturer's expectation versus what you're actually doing. So what it allows you to do is really just monitor how it's degrading over time to make sure it's going properly right and if it's not if it's draining too fast or changing too fast it gives you the opportunity or the ability to change your behavior to kind of you know optimize your battery right that's excellent and and do you do a reward for safe driving so you know if I sit at the speed limit and drive like a granny will I get a lower premium than if I go right foot down as hard <laughs> as I can the whole time look the the, the safe driver net score that we give everyone is more about helping people drive safer, right? We're not here to sting you and penalize you for a bad driving behavior. That being said, if you're dangerous, you're dangerous, right? You shouldn't you should be trying to change those behaviors. Yeah. What we try to give you is a bit more of a report information to help you understand yeah, so what you're doing It wrong. encourages people to do safer driving. It does. Um, and uh, stick to the speed. I mean, no so one, on. no, no one wants to know that they're getting a two out of ten on a report card, right? So you want to be able to kind of change that and and, and improve your score. Yeah. Okay. And you you guarantee an EV hire if the car's taken off to the repair shop. Yeah. So we definitely. I mean, guarantee is a strong word. I may have said it before, but we definitely give you the EV car, right? We have fleet partners and partners that have that. We try our hardest to absolutely get you an EV car. We will go to the end of the year because we know EV drivers have an EV. Love this, their EVs, EVs, yes. And you know, we make sure we try to so, make sure that you get one. And how long can you have that EV for? Because I'm I'm with an insurance company at the moment, and I've got however long it takes. Yeah. I've got a rental now. They're not going to guarantee me an EV. Now, now you're pushing my knowledge. Uh. I cannot remember. Because <laughs> some uh. insurance companies go, you can have it for two weeks. Well, yeah. you know, Teslas they can take six, eight weeks to yeah. fix you're, if it's you're bad. You're pushing my brain. I will send you an email, put a comment on the bottom of the thread when I when I remember. Right, okay. All right. Um, is there anything else you want to tell me about, you know, is your price competitive? Yeah. Look, the plan is to have it uh, roughly around the, the RAC kind of price, right? Um, it's definitely not going to be the cheapest in the market and it won't be the most expensive. Um, but within the insurance world, um, it's our belief that everyone, I mean, insurance feels expensive. Predominantly because it, you don't get anything for it. And though. it's gone up. And it does. Dramatically it goes in the last year or and two. And there are some very clear reasons around parts and cost of labor. There's very clear reasons why it's gone up. But the biggest part is that you just feel like you don't get anything. Insurance is a safety net. And when you get in an accident, it's phenomenal because it covers you, gets your car back on the road, and it's designed for exactly what it's supposed to. But for the other six years that you're not in getting in an accident, it feels like you're paying away money for nothing. Our goal that we want to change is to give you back some value from the data from the service to actually positively care for your car. 
That, yeah, it, that's a little bit of an added extra. I mean, insurance is a good idea, and I always have insurance 100%. on everything. 100%. Um, from the safety point of view, but now you're offering a bit of a service back it is. to the consumer going, this is how good you're driving. This is what your car's doing. Here's your battery degradation. I mean, that's just an added bonus. Yeah, and it's which value, is brilliant. right? It's oh, value, it's value, value added, added, it's added service. It's value added services for things that are already in the car. And in many ways, it's the value added service that only a true EV supplier or vendor will understand how to, how to attack. Excellent. Well, look, thanks very much. Really appreciate your time. Thanks, Thank mate. you. So, yeah. so there you have it, Cobra Insurance. Now, as a matter of interest, after I'd um, done that uh, video, I just went to the Cobra Insurance website and put in my details, Tesla uh, Model Y, rear wheel drive, and it came up and said, no, nah, we're not offering you insurance. You haven't got an OBD2 port. And I'm going, I know Andrew was talking about APIs and going through the app and so on and nothing about OBD2. So I emailed him and he returned, uh, he replied very quickly. And I'll just read you uh, what he said. We have two products, our original product uh, and the information you can see on the website is in reference to a pay per kilometer product for all cars younger than 2007. Um, this product is not offered for Teslas. The product we discussed last week is for new EV products only. Um, and this product has multiple ways to connect, predominantly via the native connection between your Tesla and us. So like with um, Tesla Fi and all these other ones, you just get the API to them and then they can access your car. So um, Cobra's EV product launches in late March and it's not on the market yet. Um, but when my insurance renewal is due um, in several months time, I'm going to certainly be looking at this. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you found that interesting. Uh, don't forget, can you do me a big favour? Click that like and subscribe button below. Thank you very much. It really does help the YouTube algorithm. And there's some other things in the um, description below, which has got links to um, Patreon and Kofi, Slack, Stack, and a few other things. So thanks very much, and I'll see you all very soon. Mm -hmm.